Oh, hey there. I'm David and welcome to Quick Crafts. Uh, today we're going to be making discovery bottles. I spy some dinosaurs. What do you see? Discovery bottles are pretty fun things to make. They can also be called I spy bottles or sensory bottles. Um, essentially, you're going to find lots of cool little knickknacks, odds and ends, and things that fit inside of a jar or a bottle. Discovery bottles can be filled with dry things or wet things like water and oil. But the important thing is that you will need a container that you can seal closed. A water bottle or a tall bottle if there's a lid um, or any kind of plastic container that you can see through. Inside your discovery bottles will be anything that you can find around your house that will fit inside the bottle or jar or container. Here I have a whole bunch of things, but this is just scratching the surface of things that you can put into your discovery bottle. There are natural items like pebbles, acorns, seashells, um, knickknacks like buttons or paper clips. You could have cool toys like dinosaurs or tiny action figures, even some googly eyes. Um, or if you have some sparkly things like beads and gems, marbles, some moss, um, or even simple things like cut up paper, cotton balls, or pom-poms if you have any. Feathers are also neat. You may need to cut them to fit into your jar and glitter is always fun. Once you have things inside your dry discovery bottle, you're gonna need a filler. Now I'm gonna use sand, but if you don't have sand, you can use things like rice or lentils or even just regular craft beads. They're gonna work great too. And that completes our dry discovery bottle. Ooh. For our wet discovery bottles, you're going to wanna fill your bottle about halfway with water. We're going to add some food coloring to our water, just a couple drops, no more than three, uh, because you wanna be able to see the things that you put inside. Give that a little stir, and then we're gonna put stuff inside. Swish the stuff around. And for the second half of our fluid bottle, we're gonna use baby oil. If you don't have baby oil, you can use uh, a cooking oil or coconut oil or anything else you might have that's still pretty liquid. Then we can add a few more things and these will float in the oil. Close it up, make sure it's sealed tight so it doesn't spill, and check out what you made. And that's how you make a discovery bottle. I hope you had fun with today's activity, and let's see what you put in your bottle. <laughs>